Praise our Lord, beloved. Have you ever sensed the goodness of God? If you have or you have not, I want to encourage you this morning. Let's turn to the book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 3 to 5. For we ourselves, we were also once foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving various lusts and pleasure, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But when the kindness and the love of God, our Savior towards man, approach, not by work of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he set us through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Beloved, I want to encourage you today. God has saved us. He has preserved us. He has rescued us from our own nature, our habits, and installed in us the ability and the desire to become more like Christ-like. We can look back on our own foolishness, our own foolish behavior, our past, and determine not to go back or repeat our selfish mistake. Beloved, if you are one of those today, I want you to know that. I want to encourage you not to go back to your selfish mistakes. You cannot keep telling God, I am sorry for what I have done. Lord, have mercy on me and forgive me. Then you go back to the foolish mistakes because of your selfishness. Beloved, can I tell you something? We have come a long way we have been washed, we have been cleansed, and we have been renewed through the kindness and grace of God because He loves us, He cares for us. My brothers and sisters, be grateful to Him for He has done His incredible love. He has shown you incredible love, beloved. The love that the Lord has showed you, beloved, pass on that love, beloved, keep doing good to others. It just don't have to be your own, but to others outside of the family. We are all one family. We are all one people, beloved. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.